Hello, my name is Michael Overacker, the astronomy dude. And what I have here is an Explore Scientific 20 inch F3.6 Trust Dobsonian Telescope. Now, this is not the normal Explore Scientific Telescope. I've done some modifications to this telescope to convert it into a tracking and go to telescope, which is why I'm doing this video. The uh, telescope can work as normal if you choose to do so, but by operating a computer and some motors, we can turn this into a very, very nice tracking telescope. This is the StellarCat drive system for the telescope and in here you can see the motor for the azimuth and of course the battery and over here is the motor for the altitude and the drive system and cable to basically drive the altitude axis with this particular telescope. And this is the computer and the pad, control pad, for the telescope. The computer, of course, again, is the Nexus DSC Pro computer. And the hand pad is a wired hand pad for the StellarCat system. After you get it all put together, you uh, take the telescope tube, you make it vertical, and you go to the computer and you click align. And I've already set it to vertical and click OK. Now we just take the telescope. We point it to two stars. We'll start with Polaris. Which is right about in here. We click OK. And then we're going to go to Spica. which is over here. Right about there. And click OK. We got notification that it's proper. Okay, now that I've got uh, the two alignment stars set up, Polaris and Spica, I'll go on ahead and engage the altitude and azimuth motors put on my reading glasses so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'll go to find Messier objects and going to M13 And the telescope will automatically go to M13. And begin tracking the object. Now the telescope is tracking M13. If I use this in an outreach program, if I did not have the tracking system, I would put an object into the uh, eyepiece, let a couple people look through it, go to the telescope again, look through the eyepiece, adjust it, let a couple more people look through it, and so on and so forth. And it's really very, very hands-on intensive 
whenever uh, you have a non-tracking telescope in outreach. But this telescope, right now I can set it on an object, M31, M13, whatever. And as many people can walk up and look through the eyepiece and see what's in the eyepiece. And this telescope will continue to track it all night long. So uh, it works really well. I uh, want everybody to know that uh, this is an option if you decide to do a, um, a telescope like this. It's uh, not an inexpensive option, but it's an option nonetheless. Um, the Stellacat system that I'm using in this particular telescope is no longer in production. Gary has uh, decided to retire and um, we're hoping for other manufacturers to step up and make motor systems for their for these conversions um, you can go online explore scientific usa.com the telescope itself sells for just under ten thousand dollars the go-to system from stellar cat when you could buy it was about twenty five hundred dollars the computer was about four hundred dollars and the assorted accessories and wood needed to make the conversion you can probably add another couple hundred dollars to that so um, I wanted to put this out and let people see what's possible with this excellent telescope by the way Explorer Scientific's uh, 20 inch f3.6 Dobsonian telescope and uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, ask them below and um, go on ahead and like and subscribe I don't put out a whole lot of stuff but it's uh, it comes out every once in a while and anyways I'd like to thank you all for watching and once again my name is Michael Overacker the astronomy dude with my modified Explorer Scientific 20 inch f3.6 trust Dobsonian telescope